Hey guys, what is up Dave here? Coming back to you with a brand new video. I've already recorded this once and I didn't like the recording as much. I didn't like really the stumbling through it because I actually wanted to seem kind of professional with this one as, you know, for what it is. So tonight I was going through my comment section on YouTube and I came to realize that somebody tried to advertise their crappy Minecraft alt website in my... Uh, in my comments section of my videos and I didn't want to I I don't like when people do that when bots advertise in my sections or when people try to do it without contacting me first if you would like to advertise something on a video or multiple videos and have me put it in my description contact me you're going to get a much nicer person if you contact me about it first I'm a cheap date I'm probably not going to ask for money from you at all because I only have 2,500 subs. With that, if you instead try to do it in my comments section, I'm probably instead going to do something like I did to you in this video. So this website, I figured out kind of how it works. It basically has a custom launcher that launches Minecraft, gives you a text string to put into their little custom launcher that launches Minecraft, logs into the alt, and then it has control of how long you're actually in game, and then it closes Minecraft. So you have 10 minutes basically to play with that alt, and then it'll close Minecraft and you're done. Well, I got smart, did the thing I always do, and I never ran their launcher because I don't trust it. Um, it has false positives if you do a virus scan on it, and that usually means there's a virus hidden inside of it. So. With that, I didn't run it. Instead, I looked at their code and figured out, wow, this is really simple. I can steal accounts from this website, and that's precisely what I'm going to do. So I made a little program right here. Um, very small program. You simply put the account hash here that the website generates, and then it spits out information right here as to what the actual email and password for the account are. Simple enough, right? You know, not a hard thing. Let's, uh, you know, let's try to steal some accounts, shall we? <laughs> you know, it's not hard. So I'm going to click Get Account Now. And it's going to load up an account on screen somewhere. I know my program disappeared off screen. That's whatever. That's not a big deal. So as you can see, there's an account loaded up here. Um, here I can hide that one. So there's an account loaded up here and I got 10 minutes to use it and I have to get it by, you know, loading up this thing. And I don't yet have a way that this actually saves stuff to, wow, that's so easy. Come on, people, easier passwords. Why? You know, whatever. But there you go. Now just to prove that it actually does log in and work, I'll go... Mojang login. And I'll actually try to log in to the account. So I'm going to put it over here off screen just so I can copy and paste it. Oh, yeah, that's another one that I tried to do. Um, login. I'm probably going to get flagged for all the logins. Buddy. I spelled buddy wrong. And crosswalks. I have never seen a diagonal crosswalk like that. That's very strange. Everybody has the same questions, I swear to God. Everybody has the same questions. I've tried three different accounts, every single one being the same. So these are uh, these are migrated accounts with security questions. Sometimes you can go through Support Center and try to get them reset by saying, hey, I don't have access to that email address anymore. Um, can you please reset them? I also can't get into game and I want to update the email or something like that. A little bit of social engineering, which, you know, comes along with basically being a scammer. But it's really that easy for me to steal accounts from this website. And then I can just dump them to a text file if I can simply figure out how it's actually generating an account every time it loads the page. I think it's a server side code. Um, since the page is PHP, there's part of the PHP I'm not seeing. So it's an accounts.php. Basically what it's probably doing is, hey, has such and such amount of time passed? 
If yes, so the 10 minutes. If yes, then generate new account and display on screen. If no, don't generate the account. So, like for example, I'm going to go back to the home screen. And that should have mapped locally. Mapped local, okay. So this should have some modified HTML in it that sh might bypass that timer. I doubt it. Yeah, it didn't bypass the timer. So unfortunately, bypassing the timer, um, I have yet to figure out. I'll probably ask a smarter friend. Uh, but frankly, I bug my friend with this weird stuff all the time, so I probably won't. If anything, I can try to find a way to put a browser into my form, load the page up, and see if I can spoof what time it is. So I'll let you guys know if that works in the future. Actually, I'm going to do it right now. I'll pause the video and I'll let you know in a minute. One sec. So I have spent a considerable amount of time on this, as you can probably see by looking at my system clock in the settings. Um, I still haven't figured out a way to spoof the time on the site to get other alts to show up. And I'm not going to show you guys the login information for this account because I'm going to keep it for myself. Uh, you know, it's just what I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want me to release the source code for this program, it's very easy. There would be honestly very little to learn from it. Um, actually, I don't think I have anything in the source code that says what the website actually is because I want to keep that to myself. But give me one second. Yeah, nothing in my code says what the website is. So um, this is all the code. This is literally all it is. So as you can see, they have a key here for their base64. I was not able to find a decryptor online that took use of a key as well with the decryption, which is not a big deal. But I simply took their key, um, ran the code the same way they run it in their encryptor, and instead of it you know, bringing up the Minecraft uh, the Minecraft launcher and logging me in with their login information, I actually just encrypted it instead, or decrypted it and had it show to a text box instead so I can save it. Uh, the next step will probably be to save it to a text file, but that won't be until I can automate the process and spoof some sort of time zone code to actually have it bypass the timer. Um, I could probably do it with like a VPN or a proxy maybe but it might be going by server time and I cannot spoof what the time is on the server side uh, where the website is hosted so I'd instead have to figure out how it's pulling and hope for like an SQL injection exploit and go from there but this is basically a great example as to why you don't advertise on my videos without talking to me first I will ruin your shit I'm not really all that sorry for it. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was a fun one to make. I haven't gotten to do something like this in a very long time. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.